It's all in the wrist, Dad. Oh, I surrender. But, Dad, you're forgetting the most important part of the meal. Yes, it is a custom in most fast food Chinese restaurants to end your meal with a fortune cookie. Oh, why not? I guess it could be fun. It's more than simple fun, Dad. Each cookie holds a mystic prophecy hidden deep within its crunchy goodness. Could we have an extra one, please? And could you put it in a kitty bag? Oh, great oracle, what does the future hold? How should I know? Open cookie and find out. Discover hidden treasures. Oh, that's a good one. Maybe I'll get to see the floor of your room again. You next, Dad. Time waits for no man. Well, it is getting late. Wait, it's my turn. This is awful. There must be a mistake. What is it? Beware those bearing gifts. You know what this means? My birthday is in less than a week. I'm doomed. Bang! We saved you a fortune cookie. Not another fur ball. Oh, your fortune. Your career will reach new heights. Hmm, looks like fate's been kinder to you. As for me, I have to watch my every step. Don't be silly, Mona. We make our own future. Besides, Fang doesn't even have a career. Yet. What's this? Why, it's my healing crystal. I haven't seen this in ages. You will rediscover hidden treasures. Just like the fortune foretold. It's just a coincidence, Mona. We have to be on our guard, Fang. Fate has begun to write the script. Mona, it's a package for you. A package? Who's it from? It looks like an early birthday present from Aunt Ethel. Mona? Mona? Here you are. Love at first bite. The collected poems of Count Dracula. An unusual volume. It's for an unusual girl. Do you have any gift wrapping? It's a present for my daughter. Oh, yes. We have some in fuchsia, lime, and... Oh, this daffodil pattern is very popular with little girls. What about that one there? Oh, that's our Halloween paper. It's a bit gloomy. Perfect. Wrap it up. I don't get it. I was sure I put enough money in the meter to last until... That's it. My watch stopped. <gasps> Time waits for no man. It came true. I've made it a policy not to accept gifts of any kind until I get this fortune sorted out. Hey, Mona, isn't that your house? <laughs> Fang! Oh, right on schedule. Your career will reach new heights. To reverse my fortune, I'll have to go to the source of the prophecy. 
Look at them, totally oblivious to the power of this great tradition. It's not something to be trifled with. Ancient warriors used to deliver secret messages in cookies. If the cookie was broken, they knew that the message had been intercepted. But the sweetness of the treats proved difficult to resist. He's delivering fortune cookies. Perfect. He'll lead us to the source of the prophecy. Excuse me, I'm here to have my fortune reversed. Oh, fortunes would be Mr. Wiseman's department. Wiseman? Wiseman, where are you? The wise man's in danger, and he's the only hope I have to get my fortune changed. Hmm, looks like he left in a hurry. Or maybe he was taken by force. It's still warm. So, what do you think happened to him, Mona? The wise man was probably working at his desk when the Imperial Guards came looking for him. He was forced to tell the future. When will we crush our competitors? Uh, look! Before you leave. What does that mean? Give me a straight answer. Tighten his laces. No! We have to find him before it's too late. Aha, it's locked which means that there's something behind this door that they don't want us to see. Luckily, I brought my dungeon door skeleton key. Ah, look, we must be on the right track. Follow your instincts. Come on, guys. To those who wait? Nah. If that's the wise man, he sounds a little rusty. Who dares disturb the musings of the great Imperial Wise Man? <coughs> Trademark of the Temple <coughs> of Sweet. <coughs> Hi there. Hank Wiseman's the name. I see you found my meditation room. I hope the Imperial Guards and the slave driver don't. Yeah, the boss is a slave driver. I do come down here to get away from him. I knew it! I'm in desperate need of a new fortune. Wish I could help you, kid, but I think I'm losing my touch. They're overworking me something awful. But all your other fortunes came true, and my birthday's tomorrow. Really? They all came true? <clears throat> Well, let's see if we can't reconfigure the machinery of fate, so to speak. There's no escape, Wiseman. I know you're in there. Oh, no. It looks like they've tracked us down. I know another way out. Follow me. Come out, Wiseman. I know you're here. Oh, that slave driver can get someone else to write all those fortunes for impossible deadlines. I've had it. But what about my new fortune? Here, try this one. What's it say, Mona? Your efforts will be rewarded. 
Well, good luck, wise men, and thanks again. Let's go, guys. Thanks, Dad. It's positively spooky. Well, I'm glad you had a change of heart. Otherwise, I would have been stuck with a non-refundable book of Transylvanian poetry. And here's Gonzar to wrap up your weekend cosmic weather. Fang? I foresee a freak storm in very select areas, so be careful. Why, there isn't a cloud in the sky. devoted to being cheerful and to helping people. Hey, Lily, what's Angela up to this time? As long as it isn't too strenuous. I made it up myself. Very suspicious. It's not like Angela to be helpful. Oh, I don't know. I think it's really nice of her to want to help people. I'm not saying it's not nice. I'm saying it's not Angela. She's up to something. at my house. Ah! I adore kitties. I'm telling you, this is weird. Charlie. I asked Lily to come, but she's too busy with her crummy help people club. Lily joined Angela's club? That doesn't sound like Lily. Something weird is going on here, and I'm gonna find out what. Everything you need to know about pixies. Pixies live in ancient underground mounds or in caves. They are domestic spirits who are very helpful around the home. Pixies are unpredictable and mischievous. <laughs> Pixies also delight in leading weary travelers astray by throwing pixie dust in their eyes. likes a wimp. Make your gestures bold. Dazzle them. Practice your greetings. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? You're doing something new with your hair. I love it. You're doing something new with your hair. I love it. Great. Now let's move on to our smiling exercises. Ugh. And smile and two and three and four. And smile and two and three and four. And smile and two and three. Angela, and four. Angela darling. And smile. Yes. That's right. Have you thought about those little chores we gave you? 
They have to be done by Saturday. Remember, you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. Don't worry, Mommy. They'll be done. And smile and two and three and four. And smile and two and three and four. Like the book said, pixie dust. Are you sure? It looks like glitter to me. <laughs> ha! More poof. Cats absolutely hate pixies. Someone's coming. <laughs> Poor Lily. She's been pixie led, just like it said in the book. We have to do something. Pixies are hard to see in daylight. You'll need these. What are they? High-tech pixie detector specs. Okay, so we're all pixies, right? Right! And pixies help people, right? Right! And that's because pixies Why is Angela so nice all of a sudden? Super nice, right? Right. I can't believe they're all agreeing with her. Watch. If my theory is correct... Look! And being nice and helping people is important. Because without niceness and helping, the world would be a very different place and, uh, old people would have to shovel their own driveways and such. They've all been pixie led, including poor Angela. Poor Angela? We've got to save them. All of them. But how? a pixie like me. I'm kind and generous and thoughtful. Not to mention modest to a fault. Fang? <laughs> huh? Oh, a kitty! Here, I kitty, kitty! Others. So let me be your role model. Let me be your inspiration. Yoo-hoo! Aha! Hello! Here, kitty, kitty! Good catch, that man. Oh, please, let me go. All right, Pixie, start talking. What are you up to? I'm just doing what Pixies do. I'm helping someone. You see, the past few weeks have been tough on me. Most of the Pixies I knew had gone into other lines of business. Day after day, another feather would fall and I'd get lonelier and lonelier. You get lonelier? Whenever a pixie gives up her profession, her white feather falls from the sky. Every fallen feather means one more friend leaving. And then one night I saw Angela. She looked like I felt lonely. And I thought, hey, why not help her out by getting her some friends? So you're the reason everyone likes Angela? Yep. Helping people out is what pixies do. That and cause the occasional mischief. But we won't go there. <laughs> See you later! This calls for drastic measures. Okay, pixies, follow me! Pixies, halt! Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to help people is pick up the leaves in my yard. Huh? Oh. Go for it! When the pixie dust starts flying, attack! Let me go! Let me go! 
being right. I asked you to clean up, not make a bigger mess. I mean, uh, so far so good. But I'd really appreciate it if you worked just a wee bit harder. I knew it! You always ruin everything! I don't want to be a pixie anymore. Hey! If I don't clean up all the leaves, my parents won't take me on that shopping trip to Paris! Hey! Come back, everyone! <sighs> so the pixie finally realized that by doing a good deed for Angela, she was actually doing a bad deed for everyone else. She did? Uh-huh. And she's decided to hang up her pixie dust for good. But what is she going to do now? After years of being a professional pixie, I'm finally going to do what I've always wanted to do. Open up my own frozen yogurt shop. Congratulations. Wow. That's great. I'll come back and visit. I promise. Good luck! Let's celebrate. Frozen yogurt's on me. Make it ice cream, and I'm there. Okay, ice cream it is. Mm -hmm. 